Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can install and configure MySQL and MySQL Workbench on Ubuntu operating system. So we will cover step-by-step -step process in order to install and configure and use MySQL on Ubuntu. Okay. So in the agenda today, we will see how we can install MySQL on Ubuntu operating system or Linux. Then we will see how we can create the user in order to connect with MySQL. And then we will see basic configuration steps required to install MySQL. Further, we will see uh, how we can install MySQL Workbench, then how we can configure it. Then we will see how we can create the database and how we can create the tables. And we will see how we can play with the some SQL queries along with MySQL on Linux. OK, so let's get started. So let's go to Ubuntu operating system. So if you can see, this is my Ubuntu operating system my ubuntu operating system details so ubuntu 22.04 lts version is installed on my machine so for this i'm using my blog so blog link is provided into video description so in order to give overview of uh, what we are doing today so we'll start with uh, mysql so it's a open source relational database management system that utilizes sql for managing and manipulating data so it implements a relational model that uses sql to manage its data so in this tutorial, so we are using MySQL versions 8.0.35 on Ubuntu 22.04. So by completing it, you, you will have the working relational database that you can use to build your next website or application. Here, like uh, we can go to terminal of Ubuntu. So this is my terminal. So to start with, so our first step is update and upgrade a package repository to ensure your latest version of MySQL version installation, update your package repository. So we have to run this command sudo apt update. So let's type here sudo apt update. Let's hit enter, enter your password. Okay. So it's updating the system. Okay. So update is done. So let's upgrade this sudo apt upgrade let's install mysql server with this command sudo apt install mysql let's enter give password okay so it is started with mysql installation so it is asking additional disk space to be used give him s So if you can see MySQL is running as per uh, process ID 3321. So our MySQL is installed. OK, so let's verify this. So type MySQL D minus minus version. So you can see like uh, the 8.0.39 version uh, is installed for MySQL on Ubuntu. OK, so moving further. Now we need to uh, secure our MySQL installation. So for this, uh, this is the command to so MySQL secure installation. So let's execute this. Okay, so you have to read these uh, instructions. So validate your password component can be used to test the password and improve the security. It can check the strength of your password. Okay, so would you like to validate your password component? So this you can make as a S you, if you are installing for your uh, project environments like uh, UAT or production. So for now we are running this as for learning. So we will say N for now. Okay. So now it is asking remove anonymous user. So let's say no for this for now. Now it is asking disallow root login remotely. Let's say no. Now remove test database to access to it. Let's say no reload privileges of table now let's say no okay this is done now we will check if mysql server is running or not so for this we will check the status of our mysql server so let's type sudo system ctl status mysql so if you can see this our mysql is running port 3508 and uh, these are the details of your mysql server so now moving further so we will log into mysql and let's configure our user so you have to type sudo mysql in order to log into mysql 
so we have successfully logged into mysql so now just we need to configure this user so we need this identify with mysql native password so copy this command okay so alter user root so we are uh, <coughs> doing modification to access for user root identify with mysql native password by using password so you can put any password here so let's say enter okay so it is written with query okay so now we have successfully set the password for your uh, root user okay so now you can see data versus okay so if you can see these are like a system databases available into my mysql so that is information schema mysql performance schema sys so these are system databases available okay so we have to install our mysql workbench so in order to do that so the simplest way to install mysql workbench to use the local apt repository so here uh, only thing is you need to download the package and install it so ubuntu has uh, provided uh, one additional facility by using the snap command so we can directly download and install this uh, mysql workbench community version go here clear this and just use the snap to snap command in order to install this mysql workbench so if you can see this is downloading this snap mysql workbench community okay so now it is saying mysql workbench community 8.0.36 is installed so let's verify this so in order to verify if it is installed so go to your show application this go to the next page if you can see here so here mysql workbench is installed successfully so that's it so just double click on this in order to launch your uh, mysql workbench okay so this is our mysql workbench okay so you have to enter the password and let's say unlock so it is saying the unlock password is incorrect so if you are getting this message so just you have to cancel this operation and just go to console again and here just we need to reset our mysql uh, password okay so from command line so just we need to log into our mysql so mysql minus u then uh, username as a root and then minus p enter let's give password that we have earlier entered okay so now it is entered into mysql so here just we need this command so here just we will change your password okay so here instead of password so we can write different string and we add one two three enter query okay so now let's try to log in our uh, mysql workbench with this admin at one two three go to mysql workbench here open again okay so now you can see this local instance double click on this so this is the root user asking for password give the new password admin at one two three and let's say unlock okay so again it is asking for password so give the password save the password okay so now we have entered into this mysql workbench so now you can see this option server status client connections and not okay so inside this mysql workbench so if you see the schemas like databases so only the sys database is present so we can create a new database so if you can give this uh, create database stack db okay so this is created so let's verify this so if you can see this is the refresh command is there so you can see stackdb is created so go inside this so you can see there are no tables inside this so right click on this and say create table okay so it is asking to create new table so we can create this stack table so we can add some columns here so we can add here a roll number then data type will be int it should be a primary key not null let's remove not null for now so now we can add next column as a name okay so 
name is our care 45 okay so here we need this not null roll number should be primary key and not null and then name as a var care let's say apply here if you can see create table this 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 then uh, column name is a roll number then name and then a primary key integer is a not null uh, let's say apply so if you can see sql script successfully executed let's close this so you can see this table is created now a stack table let's verify here dsc a stack db dot a stack okay so you can see the table is created now let's insert some sample data also you can say select star from a stack db dot a stack table let's execute this so if you can see there is a nothing to show into the data so this is roll number name let's enter the data so let's say for example roll number 101 and name as a Harry K. Okay, now we can enter one more 102 name as a Stanley okay so here you can see apply apply this so you can see two insert queries are created insert into a stack table with this uh, data and let's say apply so SQL script successfully applied to database close this okay so now let's verify into this select star from stack db dot stack underscore table enter so if you can see two data 101 102 harry and stanley is there so like we have seen how to create the table how to insert the data into table and how we can select and fetch data from database so as a conclusion we have seen how we can install and configure mysql on ubuntu or linux and how we can install and configure mysql workbench that is a gui tool how to install and configure on uh, ubuntu operating system also we have seen how we can uh, play with uh, some basic queries like uh, select insert create queries into mysql workbench so stay tuned for further interesting sessions and uh, thanks a lot for watching